the difference between Amazon low board and Amazon contracts. Big difference. All right, and pay and everything. Big, big difference. Hey guys, we're about to start our second block of this contract. Um, get it going. Look like we're doing a lot of California. Well, hey, Just getting them ready for school or for swim. So it looks like uh, we're heading to California and good thing it's cool. So I can't complain. It's not hot. I like California, just not the way we have this uh, scale when you go into California that I do not like going through because I always get pulled in. I always get the red light. But uh, yeah. We're doing this, baby. We're starting a new contract. We finished our last contract and we're starting a new one. We got one more contract after this one. So, or one more block in this contract after this block we're about to do. Round trip, another 37. All right, guys. Yo, 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 yo. We in the truck. We already fueled up. We're picking up an empty. We're heading to drop this empty off and pick up a preload and heading to Cali. Um, what can I say? I wanted to make a short <clears throat> little video. Um, explaining the load board. Now, Amazon Relay app, they have the load board, Amazon load board, and they have Amazon contracts. All right. Now, when you're just signing up with Amazon, Say that, uh, you know, you just got your authority. You got yourself a truck. Um, you subscribe to a DAT board. And some people are not messing with you because you're not 30 days in. You think about doing some Amazon, but you don't know if they will accept you or not. The way Amazon approval work from the day you put in to get your authority, either if you have a, a company file for your authority for you, or um, you know you do it yourself, from that day you submit your authority is the day Amazon themselves start tracking. So you know. You got your authority, it took 15 days to get your authority. So as soon as you get approved for your authority, you're approved for Amazon, is what I'm trying to say. Because they go off of the day you filed for your authority. So that won't be a problem. So you go on Amazon Relay, because nobody's messing with you on the DAT board. And you see Amazon Low Board. You tap on Amazon Low Board, you see all these prices cheap prices you know amazon starts you know they, they post those loads two to three days before they need to be picked up S some loads on there if you watch my previous video you know try to get the, the loads that are the same day whatever you don't want to pick up any loads that's cheap you want to wait you know if it's 24 hours before the load you want to pick the load that's close to two hours before the uh, departure time departure time all right we're back to this low board thing so there's the low board and there's contracts when you first sign up with amazon you're not going to be able to even see the contracts if there's any available or not okay you you might not even be able to see contracts in different states um that's like the default setting when you click on con when you click on contracts 
the default setting, ooh, I'm messing up, hold on. The default setting is, you can, you know, they're not, when you click on contracts, it's gonna be all these other states on there, Dallas, wherever, every state but yours. You have to go into the filter and go to your state or the state that's closest to you. And you're gonna have to type that state in and then contracts for your state will pop up. But if you're a newbie, the default won't even, you won't even see contracts. It just say non-available. Now the reason why it says non-available is because for one, um, you haven't taken any loads yet. So you're gonna have to go on the load board Take you some loads, get your rating up to 100% rating. Keep that rating up to 100%. That's what you want to do. So you're at least going to have to do that load board for about two weeks, give or take. All right. And it depends on the season, too. You might can have, you know, do two weeks, you have a good rating, and there just might not be any loads, any contracts in your area. Okay. So. Get that rating up to 100% rating. Do not be late to pick up. Do not be late on your departure, okay? Try to do everything as smooth as possible. And uh, get that up to 100% and then you'll be, you will gain access automatically. You won't have to request anything or nothing. You will gain access to that contract board. And when you do, then you'll be learning a whole new ball game. You'll know what's up if you're watching my videos. What's a 30, what's a 37? What's a 13? What's the, I think it's 112 is the double. So if you're doing solo, you don't have to worry about that. Um, and so forth and so forth. So family, on the low board, you can book as many loads as you want. You want to book yourself up for two weeks if they have them on there for two weeks they put them up you know 24 hours in advance sometimes a day or two that's like real cheap freight don't don't take that don't even look at it like oh that's interesting and come back to that don't okay um but you're gonna it's, it's like the dat board instead of calling people you just click a button and you got it you know there's no negotiators no hassling if you don't like it don't touch it and if they really need it off, they're gonna they're gonna up that price. And depending on the season, you know, I've I've seen loads from Vegas heading to uh, things like Washington, not even a seven hour drive, and they were giving out four thousand dollars at one point because it was raining and no, and it was raining and it was during it was in December, like four days before Christmas or something like that. You know what I mean? So, um, that's the load board. Contracts, yes, you can book loads if they're available for months in advance. Like me, I booked three months already of contracts. So, only time I go on the on the load board or Amazon Relay app is to see, to make sure everything's good. Make sure they email me about a concern or I don't have, you know, just making sure but I haven't looked at a load in forever. And when I do, sometimes I go in there at certain times of the day. And if I catch a load, save a contract, um, excuse me, if I see a contract, say if I have a contract ending and I have nothing booked for that following week and there's a contract available, I'm looking to snatch that because I love doing relay. Um, but yeah, we want to keep this short and sweet. The difference between Amazon low board and Amazon contracts. Big difference. All right. And pay and everything. Big, big difference. The day I decide not to record is the day when it's not smooth. Yeah, buddy. On the road again. Nothing like being on the road again. Had a little speed bump, but we're back moving, baby. Can't believe it. That was uh, the first time that ever happened to me where I had to actually.
actually called me and said, hey, um, you're not checked out. We gave you the wrong trailer. You gotta come back. And uh, yeah, good thing I wasn't too far. Good thing uh, I wasn't going. To, good thing I wasn't going too far. I was only going around the corner. So good thing I didn't make it that far away from the yard. And uh, I'm happy I wasn't going too far OTR. Yeah, I had to turn around, take that back, drop and hook. I was a little frustrated, but I kept my posure because it was nobody's fault. You know, people make mistakes. And I uh, told myself it could have been worse. You know, I could have been sitting at a dock for 10 hours and then they had to unload me for some weird reason, which I've had that happen to me before. I was at a dock for like seven hours and they were talking about only giving me 150 bucks for uh, detention because uh, I was picking up hot tubs, jacuzzis, and one of the jacuzzis broke and they had to remake the jacuzzi. So I was sitting there waiting, like waiting while they were making this jacuzzi to put on my trailer. So it was like, that was frustrating. But uh, yeah, we're back on the road. We're about 280 miles away from our first drop. I think we have two drops tonight. We're dropping to San Bernardino and then in Oxford. And then we're staying in Oxford and picking up in the morning like we did last time. So that's cool. But uh, yeah, then we'll be heading back home mañana. Nothing like coming down this Baker Grid. Every time I come down here, I always got a FedEx truck racing me down here. You know? Now here in California, speed limit's 55. And sometimes coming down this grid right here, these trucks be going 65, almost 70 miles an hour. And I always see cops out here. And I always see trucks pulled over around here. So I make sure I stay within that 60, no faster than 62 miles an hour. Because I don't like tickets. I don't like getting pulled over. I don't like breaking the law. But uh, yeah, I like coming down this grid because I like to see this thermometer. This thermometer coming up. Thermometer coming up, and uh, I'm excited to see how hot it is tonight. I'm gonna have to guess like around 90. Driving sober saves lives, including yours. Remember that, guys. Let's see here. I'm taking bets. I'm taking bets. Wink, wink. Sand 90. I'm from Vegas. I like the bet. <laughs> I haven't made a bet in like 10 years. The last time I bet was on a college sports game. Um, well, let's see, let's see what we got here. Looking at that red thing, I know it's probably blurry. 